hello welcome to my youtube channel and uh, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, advice related to how to become a good rails developer so i'll i'll just share what my plans are uh, i have been working in ruby on rails and in related fields for like last two to three years before that i used to work in android for six to seven years uh, so approximately i have a experience of software development for eight plus years so uh, my path with this particular YouTube channel and in general uh, advice to anyone who is pursuing Ruby on Rails is as follows that you should focus on three things Rails, React and Hotwire and I'll explain you why each of these is important. So right now if you just focus on Ruby on Rails as the starting point uh, because if you want to become a Ruby on Rails developer that should be the starting point right. So that way obviously you'll have to learn Ruby. JavaScript and Postgres SQL. Okay, so Postgres SQL will be your database, Ruby will be your primary backend language, JavaScript will be your front end language. And HTML, CSS is something that I'm not mentioning because if you're learning Ruby, JavaScript, these kind of things, that HTML, CSS should not be a problem for you. Uh, even though you are not a great designer, that's fine, but you should be able to understand and write basic code. That's it. So that's the first step to becoming a Rails developer. If you have done this much part, you can actually get starting level jobs. Okay, so I, and I'll categorize this as let's say first step of becoming a Ruby on Rails developer. Second step that you should add is Hotwire, which is Stimulus and JS, uh, Stimulus and Turbo. Basically, this is not a complicated thing to work on. It can be like if you already know Ruby on Rails, you can easily master Hotwire in like one or two days. Uh, it's it's actually not that hard. Uh, but you just need practice. Uh, that's second step. And third is React. So if you have used Rails and Hotwire, which we have done in our Airbnb and Clone series. So now you should work on React. Mainly start with uh, components and all those kind of things with, in which React does work. Uh, but mainly focus on JSX and Tailwind CSS in that. Okay. And once you have figured out working with the JSX JavaScript part of it, then I would suggest transfer that code, convert that code into a TypeScript code and start working in TypeScript also. Okay. So if you focus on these three things, your backend is covered because of Ruby. Uh, your full stack framework is covered because of Rails, Ruby on Rails. Your database is covered only the SQL part, not the no SQL part. If you want to work on MongoDB, you can do it. It's not that hard, but I'm not focusing on that right now. Uh, so for database part, your Postgres SQL is covered. For your front-end part, if you are just focused on the very basic front-end which works with Ruby on Rails, Hotwire covers you in that. But if you want to master front-end, then React covers you in that. Now, if you have mastered all these technologies, which we will be covering in our, our this YouTube channel across the stack, uh, you have possibility of getting purely React job as a front-end developer, purely back-end job as a Ruby on Rails developer, uh, and a Ruby developer, full stack jobs uh, because of Ruby on Rails, React, Hotwire, these kind of things. Okay, so and in, if we see what content I have already posted on this channel, we have covered Ruby not in depth as a programming language, but we know how to use it and all those kind of things. JavaScript we have covered, Postgres, SQL, Rails. So first part is done. Out of Hotwire we have used Stimulus a lot. Turbo we have used some part of it, so we will have to master it a lot. Tailwind we have used and React, which is JSX and TSX, uh, I'll be starting this month on that. So basically by end of this month, you will start seeing content around this entire stack. Now let me validate my hypothesis here. I will show you some of the job posts uh, that are in the market and based on that you can understand why I think this is a really good stack to work on if you want to master Ruby on Rails or full stack development. So let's go. Uh, let's go to this. I'll try to minimize this. Let's go to right side. One of the most famous websites that I normally see for Ruby on Rails job is Ruby on Remote. Okay. And let's see some of the jobs here. I'll just open these. Wherever they have mentioned Ruby on Rails, I'll open that. Web scrapping, uh, backend. This remote, this, this, RR, RR is Ruby on Rails, Ruby on Rails, Ruby on Rails. 
<coughs> let's see some other website if there is any specific to rails rails job board maybe this one jobs.go rails let's open couple couple of this okay i don't think this last one is for that not sure and this one let's see these jobs so this is the first job if you see the <coughs> technology they have used react as a front end ruby on rails as a back end material ui we have used tailwind css so if you mastered all these things i hardly think that if you are good at Ruby and Rails and React, no company will reject you because you don't know Material UI because it's that easy. Okay. Uh, let's see the requirements. Ruby on Rails experience, that's fine. We will be creating projects. So these numbers are just for reference, but if you can showcase and back them with strong projects that you have created, uh, even though they are not company level product, but if you can showcase it, uh, I think it should not be a big problem. So. That's what we will be keep on doing. Uh, right now, Airbnb is one of them. Second is Notes app. Uh, by, I, I'll try that each month we can add one new project to your portfolio. So if by end of this year you have 12 projects, that would be great, right? So again, but the experience is same. Ruby on Rails, React, Git and GitHub, obviously basic. RESTful API, PostgreSQL, Teamwork and all those the things are related. Experience with these are nice to have things. Heroku, obviously we'll be do, doing deployment. So Heroku, Redis, it's part of React as well as Ruby on Rails. Uh, it's used for caching. So we will have to learn this, but it is not a separate tech. It's part of those learning process. Sidekick is also part of that learning process only. We will have to use it uh, outside our current project. And currently I'm working on one project in which I'm using Sidekick. So maybe I can showcase you that later on. Redux, if you are learning React, you should run Redux. Docker, even if you don't know, that's not a big problem. But if you know this, it's good. And Material UI, again, Tailwind CSS is the equivalent of that. And that's it. So you can see it is actually a good job based on what tech stack that we are following. Let's close this. And now we'll go to things quickly. Ruby on Rails and Vue. So Vue, we, I haven't mentioned because this, they are using Vue, which is great. But if you know React, and if you know Ruby on Rails, there are good chances that you can go for this job and apply. It won't be a 100% match, but it will be like 70 to 80% match. Uh, that being said, I won't recommend mastering Vue just to get into this job. If you've mastered all the things, then obviously you should go to Vue and Next.js and all those kind of things. Right now, I think React should get priority. So maybe we can consider this like a 50% match, 60% match, but that previous one was 100% match, almost 100% from our tech stack that we are following. Okay, so let's close this. Let's go to next one. It has nothing, so let's directly close this. This one, remote work, attention. Rail 7, great. Hotwire, great. It is covered in our tech stack. Our spec should get covered in our tech stack. We haven't mentioned it separately, but it is part of Rails 7 only, right? Like similar to device or a faker, we don't write them, right? But it is part of Rails 7. Uh, Postgres, Redis, Sidekick, Git, GitHub, there's nothing extra out of Ruby on Rails development. Okay, React is also not there. So it's it's quite straightforward, okay? So it's almost like a 100% match. So let's close this. Let's go to next one, which is Senior Ruby Developer. Ruby on Rails, SQL databases, and knowledge of no SQL databases. Knowledge and experience are two different words. Right now we are focused on Postgres SQL. So you are applicable for this. You if you if you have basic knowledge of it of MongoDB, that's fine. Even if you don't, that's also fine. Proficiency in three languages. So if if we are covering our path, it will be very straightforward. Ruby, JavaScript, TypeScript, these are three languages that we have been using regularly, right? Computer science, great, this, this, all. So again, this is almost 95%, 100% match. <coughs> Next one, let's see. Four years experience, Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, 100% match. When I say 100% match, it means that you are applicable for apply. It doesn't mean that you have gotten selected, but and uh, you will have to back that with your skills. But at least we have a plan now, right? Tech stack, vanilla rails, we have been using that hot wire, stimulus, tailwind, view component is part of rails, so nothing is special about it. Sidekick, great. So 
pure ruby on rails that's why they have mentioned vanilla database process we already know that click house we haven't covered we might cover it i'm not considering it but having postgres is a must okay it's like walking and running walking is important if you can run that's great but you won't go to running directly without learning walking right so that's how i think of it i might be wrong but that's how i think heroku we will cover in airbnb app signal no github actions not yet but it's nice to know these uh, stripe we have already used so again 80 95 percent match and by the way i applied to these kind of jobs even if i get 60 percent match i apply to, to those jobs so that's great let's go to another one this one is really bad looking i want to make this quick video ruby on rails javascript great knowledge of ai and chat i have been actually pushing you guys that you should know how to use chat gpt and all those things along with tech okay don't fight it embrace it basically javascript great web rtc we have not covered maybe we can at some point but right now i'm not focusing on that postgres so again 70 80 percent match easily close ruby on rails javascript react great Proficient with Twilio, or you can navigate these things. That's fine. Postgres, AWS, we are not using right now. So again, this is like eighty percent match. And let's see this last one. I don't want to make it a big video. Ruby on Rails, Postgres, Redis, AWS. We are not focusing on our tech stack right now, but rest all are there. So again, ninety five percent match or something. <coughs> so you can see. we have a path we will focus on that path and it's going to be really great so if you think we should cover anything else do let me know i am not limited to those things my focus is on those things but i will add keep on adding other things also i am already proficient in android so i might create apps around that i will create rails api related product also so we'll see so i hope it clarifies why we are learning what you should learn and the overall path that's it Thank you. Bye bye.